Over President's Day weekend, Sarah and I had a chance to get away to the desert country of Southern California. We headed out for Bakersfield on Highway 58 through the Mojave Desert on our first stop in Barstow. We spent the night at Comfort Inn and Suites just outside of Barstow. We slipped in after the sun went down, and the next day rose to a sunny yet very windy day. So what did you think of our stay last night? It was good until going to sleep. Nice hot tub experience. Sleeping through the night, that was a little difficult. The morning hot tub experience, not good. The hot tub wasn't hot and the hot wasn't kicking off. And it was like 44 degrees getting out of the hot tub. No, it was like 32 and, degrees and, getting out of the hot tub with the wind chill, making it probably feel like zero degrees. <laughs> The next day, we checked out Barstow, which was founded in 1880 during a silver mining rush and was first called Fish Pond and later Waterman Junction. It was renamed Barstow in 1886 to honor William Barstow Strong, president of the Santa Fe Railway. Mining fell in decline, but Barstow endured as a rail town and a place for tourists to stop. Barstow likes to play on it being on the famous Route 66, which has great historical significance. In the 1930s, millions of Dust Bowl refugees passed through Barstow en route from Oklahoma and Texas into the agricultural fields and orchards of California. When times were better, millions traversed along the southern route between the Midwest and vacation spots in California. Barstow served as a stopover for weary travelers tired from endless miles of trekking through the vast and often hot desert. Here they found numerous motels and auto courts that capitalize, to this day, on the nostalgia. This motel grabbed my attention, so I pulled over to check out a number of old cars that were situated here, none of which were apparently in running condition. Check it out, this motel's got some pretty cool things. Across the street at 112 East Main Street was the El Rancho Motel, where it said that Marilyn Monroe stayed once. The sign is still up, but the historic motel was destroyed by fire on July 5th, 2022. It really doesn't take long to pick up on the fact that Barstow is an impoverished community with its golden era having deserted it years ago. Welcome to another episode of History Hunters. We're in Barstow, gonna check out the historic Harvey House, built about 1912. It was a place where travelers on the rail would stop and get a nice meal, possibly a room. It was one of the fancier locations here. It was uh, created by a Fred Harvey. He was an entrepreneur back in those days. And uh, as you know how rail travel often is, it's often hurried and rushed. This was a more relaxing experience for people. They would get off the train, they would have a, a more relaxing dinner, and then they would possibly have a place to stay or get back on the train and leave. The Harvey House is next to the Western America Railroad Museum, and in the parking lot are static displays of retired engines. This one was built by Electromotive Diesel in 1966 and used by the Santa Fe Railroad and served the Burlington Northern Santa Fe for 10 years until it was sidelined in 2009. Is this the bell that rings when it's crossing the, um, what do you call it, the, it only swings one way. This Santa Fe engine 1460 was built in 1970 in Texas and served until 2008. The building is a blend of Spanish Renaissance and classical revival architectural styles with a Moorish feeling as well. The concrete frame is faced with red tapestry brick and beige artificial stone. Majestic arcades and colonnades line the facade, providing shade from the desert sun. Red clay barrel tiles are used to cover the roof. Towers at the building's corners and those of the central projecting bay facing the tracks are capped with pointed roofs or painted domes. 
Before the use of automobiles became widespread, rail travel was considered glamorous and with business booming, Barstow was an important stop on the rail line between California and all points east. In 1885, the Harvey House was constructed as part of a chain of restaurants on the Atchison, Topeka and Santa Fe Railroad. The chain was founded by early tourism promoter Fred Harvey. You may have seen the name of Fred Harvey on a lot of old postcards from the Southwest. He touted postcards as, quote, the best way to promote a hotel or restaurant. Harvey was an entrepreneur who developed the Harvey House lunchrooms, restaurants, souvenir shops and hotels, which served rail passengers on numerous rail lines. This photo shows the Topeka, Kansas Depot of the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe, where Fred Harvey took over the second floor lunchroom in early 1876. He was also a leader promoting tourism in the American Southwest in the late 19th century. The Fred Harvey Company recruited white women, quote, between the ages of 18 and 30, attractive, intelligent, and of spotless character, unquote, to serve guests. The famous Harvey girls worked long hours in starched black and white uniforms and were paid $18.50 per month plus room, board, and tips. The girls had to adhere to a strict code of conduct and a curfew. They were pioneers in a time when few women worked outside the home. Even royalty had been through here. In this photo, businessman Oskar Solbert and Crown Prince Gustav Adolf of Sweden are on a train car platform in Barstow in July 1926. The Harvey House has some limited exhibits recounting its rich history. This sign gives details about Fred Harvey being born in London, England in 1835 and coming to America in 1853 when he was just 17. And if you're disappointed that we won't be visiting any graves in this episode, let me include this information. Fred Harvey died in 1901 at the age of 65 in Leavenworth, Kansas, and is buried at the Mount Muncie Cemetery in Lansing, Kansas. The Barstow Harvey House, also known as the Harvey House Railroad Depot and Barstow Station, was originally constructed in 1885. It consisted of a wooden depot, restaurant, and hotel that later burned down in 1908, but was rebuilt as the current Casa de Desierto Harvey Hotel. Here travelers dined on gourmet cuisine, served on fine china at a less rushed pace. Comfortable luxurious rooms rested the weary rail travelers as the Harvey girls served food and provided information. The Harvey house had a reputation for friendliness and hospitality and became the focus of not only travelers but for the locals. Barstow's Harvey house was equipped with a full bar room which hosted many town dances and social events. At one time, Barstow's Main Street ran in front of the train station and the Harvey Hotel. However, in the 1920s, the Santa Fe Railroad literally bought the whole street and moved it to where it is today. The grand opening for the new Main Street was July 4, 1925. However, as Route 66 gained popularity, and when the Santa Fe Railroad started serving meals on trains, Harvey houses became shadows of their former self. The building was then used mainly for a machine shop with a cafeteria and a small Amtrak ticket office. Before long, the Casa del Desierto was abandoned altogether. When we visited the Harvey House in February 2023, the upper floor of the building housed an exhibit on space travel. Not a surprising topic given the fact that the nearby Edwards Air Force Base was used to train NASA pilots and landing of the space shuttle. In fact, in 1962, Neil Armstrong, who would become the first man to walk on the moon, piloted the X-15 at this base. Other astronauts as well would use Edwards Air Force Base to practice piloting a lunar landing vehicle. Lots of folks pass through Barso each day, eager to get onto Las Vegas, but if that happens to be you, resist the urge. Next time, pull off the highway and take in the nostalgia and also the bygone era of when we relied on trains to take us places. We appreciate you watching. Keep your eyes peeled for an upcoming visit to the Calico Ghost Town as we search for more history.